Today I'm going to talk about row assembly. And this is all 13 blocks of my F row. When I'm done with my blocks, I stick them in a baggie and I put them in a box and I put them away because row assembly can be frustrating for me. So I do it when I'm in the mood. So F row is my next assembly row. And as you can tell, they're all labeled, of course. But I've got three sides of sashing on my F1 block. And the rest of them have two sides because you're going to add them and then there's going to be the sashing for the one before it is obviously going to be here. So I've laid out my F row up until 10 and then 11, 12, and 13 I put up there. But what I'll do is I will, I will do the tape thing and I will tape these two together all of these all have their papers still in them. I don't take papers out until I connect them to something. So I'm going to connect these two, and then I'm going to connect these two, and so on and so forth, so that I have pairs. Because if I start connecting them all at a time, I'm going to end up with this long piece. And because I don't take the papers out, it becomes kind of rigid. So I'll connect them in pairs, and then I'll connect the pairs as I go and there's no trick to the connections. A major reason why I don't take the papers out is because I've got them labeled on the back. So if I get my order mixed up, I can tell that this is F2, and that this is F5, and so on and so forth. All right, so I've done my blocks in pairs, and I did this one in a group of three, so I can connect all these for the group of seven. And I've connected all six of these for the other half of my row, my F row. So once I connect the seven, I will then connect it to the six, and my F row will be complete. And now I have my connected F row ready to attach to my quilt. <laughs> 